Hey guys, welcome back to Legendaries Unleashed. Today we have our final premium collection box, the Primarina GX, and like the last two, of course, you get six booster packs, two holo cards, one pin, one coin, one jumbo full art, as well as a regular size full art card. I'm sad that this is the last one of these to open up, but hopefully we're gonna be getting some more awesome product like this. I have to say, between these premium collection boxes and the Mega Powers box, I have been absolutely happy with what Pokemon has done. So hopefully they'll keep on that track. Get into this box and get Primarina out. Now I know I said Primarina is my least favorite out of the three Pokemon. However, I do have to give it to them. These cards, all three of them look absolutely amazing. Oh, apparently Poplio decided to pop on out a little bit early here. Hopefully it's not damaged. I've noticed my Hollow cards, most of them have a bit of whiting around the edge, and the full arts seem to be fine, so that is the good news on that. Take a peek here. Our full art looks like it's in good condition. Getting everything sleeved up here. So we could take our peek. See, we have our coin, which of course is the Primarina. These things look amazing have our pin here. That looks so cool. I have to say the artwork on all three of these Pokemon is just phenomenal. And we have our cards here. We have Poplio, which is part of the Sun and Moon base set. Brion, which is also part of the Sun and Moon base set. It's just the hollow that's different on those. And we have our Primarina GX promo card, which is Sun and Moon promo 39. This, oh, look at that artwork. This thing looks so cool. And as you can see, I have our jumbos already set up in the back because, come on, full art jumbo cards with texture. It's the texture that makes them extra special. We have our booster packs, whoop, our TCG code, and our jumbo card here. Try not to get too much glare. I think the blue is going to be, yeah, super shiny but absolutely amazing artwork. Really, really love these jumbo cards. I can't say that enough. They're so cool. Feel like we should, where should we put Primarina? Let's go ahead. Just toss Primarina right there for now. Have our six booster packs. You know, let's just do a random again. Hopefully we're gonna have some luck here. Maybe Primarina will actually be the luckiest box out of the three. Fingers crossed. Starting off with Evolutions, we have a Nidoran, Vulpix, Sandshrew, Ponyta, Magnemite, a Kakuna, Full Heal, Machoke, Reverse Kakuna, and a regular Rare Electrode. So, not a very good first pack. But we're hoping for some luck with the Guardians Rising and Sun and Moon. because that, that's where the cards are at. We have Fennekin, Flabebe, Sandshrew, Cubone, Enoibat, Magneton, Wubbuffet, Quilava, Doduo, and a Florgas regular rare. Ooh, so we only have four packs to go. Come on, something, anything. The one good thing about Guardians Rising though is even though I haven't had the best pull rates, this thing, is very giving on reverse rares. Absolutely insane. Which, if you have to get something, it's better to get that than nothing. Moving on to Guardians Rising. Have a Talo, Jangmo-O, Delibird, Trubbish, Machop, a Fairy Energy, Clefable, Lampant, Machoke, a Reverse Victory Belt, which is, see, a rare, and a regular rare Lilligant. Uh, only three packs to go. Come on. Let's uh, let's get Steam Siege out of the way. Come on, Steam Siege. Whoop. Have a Rufflet. Whoop. Litleo, Meryl, Ponyta, Cobalion, Shieldon, Persian. A Rapidash, Dino, Reverse, 
that is, yeah, that is a rare as well. Yep, a reverse rare world canyon. And man, I fudged that one up too. I think that Cobalion was our regular rare. And yeah, so Cobalion was our regular rare. I did the Sun and Moon pack trick on that. Fun. Always weird. I should really not go back and forth. It's more for the not screwing up said pack tricks. Sun and Moon, come on. Can we get an Ultra Ball? Have Alolan Meowth, Dewpiter, Alolan Diglett, Marini, Crab Brawler, Fairy Energy, Crocorock, Brion, a Big Malasada, Reverse Carvana, and a regular Rare Lantern. So... Oh, come on, Guardians Rising. We only have two Reverse Rares. Which, again, better than nothing, but... If we don't pull something here, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed with six packs and nothing. Alright, here we go. Guardians Rising, last pack, last chance. We have a Clefairy, Tentacle, Beldum, Helioptile, Phantom, a Darkness Energy, Clefable, Matang, Choice Band, Reverse Helioptile, and a regular rare Waylord. Ugh, okay. So let me get the cards here and show you what we ended off with. Now, I have to say, Primarina was probably the worst of the three boxes we got. We ended off with our three cards that come with it, Poplio, Brion, and our Primarina GX Full Art, which absolutely happy to get my hands on. And we only managed to get two reverse rares from this box, which means Guardian Rising, you're being stingy with me. I think that's two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Out of 11 packs within the last few openings, I've only pulled one hollow rare card. So my, my Guardian's Rising luck is not there. Maybe it's waiting for Burning Shadows because there is Charizard there. Who knows? Anything's possible. Luck can change at any time. These boxers are still absolutely amazing. I would not trade opening them for the world, but hopefully we're going to have some better luck down the road. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a like. Let me know what you think of the Burning Shadows set and what you think of the Shining Legends set because we've heard more about that, which is our October set. So let me know what you think of those two sets and I'll see you next time, guys.